Hi, Northwest Arkansas. I'm Eric Hutchinson. I'm the principal broker and owner of Hutchinson Realty, and it's time for our monthly market update for Northwest Arkansas. I'm going to be covering data from February 1st through March 1st of this year, and I'm going to be taking a snapshot of the data from last year, same time period from February 1st through March 1st. I always think it's interesting to look back and see where we were this time last year. Do you remember where you were March 1st of 2020? I remember hearing more and more about this virus called COVID-19 and how things were starting to get a little bit more serious. They had just shut down the air flights, the trips from here to Europe and they were starting to, countries were starting to shut their borders down and we were getting geared up to go through quarantine. It was quite a time uh, about to happen this time last year. And I remember thinking, I wonder what's gonna happen to the real estate market. Well, I could not have predicted what happened in our real estate market. I would have guessed that it would have decreased in value or at least stayed the same, but it has increased exponentially. So I'm looking forward to going through this data with you today. So let's get into it. Let's look at Fayetteville. We're going to look at Fayetteville, Springdale, Rogers, Bentonville, and Bella Vista. And this is not comprehensive. We won't be covering any other towns in Northwest Arkansas. Those are the major towns. And we're not covering any other properties other than residential single family homes. We're not going to be looking at condominiums, townhouses, land, duplexes, commercial property. We won't be looking at any of that. So let's get into it. So in Fayetteville, this time last year in 2020, from February 1st through March 1st, there were 111 houses that had sold with a average sold price of $283,215 with an average price per square foot sold of $135 per square foot. Now let's switch over to this year. In Fayetteville right now, there's 121 active listings, 243 pending listings, and 78 sold listings. So not as many houses sold this year as last year. Let's look at the average sold price, which is $309,070, and the average sold price per square foot is $146 a square foot. So $11 per square foot feet increase from this time last year, and I think you're going to see that trend continue. Let's go over to Springdale. In Springdale this time last year, there were 109 houses sold with an average sold price of $248,129 and an average sold price per square foot of $115 a square foot. Now let's fast forward to this year and the average price per square foot uh, active listings right now are $160 a square foot average and 144 median. There's 57 active listings, 205 pending listings, and 85 sold listings. So again, like Fayetteville, not as many houses sold, but look at the value of the properties. The average sold price is $292,662 with an average sold price per square foot of $132 a square foot. So now we're more like $17 a square foot higher than this time last year. But I think that trend is going to continue. Let's move over to Rogers. Uh, this time last year in Rogers, there were 103 houses sold. The average sold price was two hundred and seventy nine. dollars thousand and five dollars and the average sold price per square foot is 119 dollars a square foot this time last year in rogers right now in rogers are 71 active listings not many houses for sale right now inventories are low there are 237 houses pending that means that march is going to be a great month for sold listings so this time uh, next month, we will go over the sold listings and we'll have a lot more data to look at. Right now, from February 1st through March 1st in, in Rogers, 97 houses sold. Again, down from this time last year, but that's because our inventories are down. But look at the value. In Rogers, the average sold price is 350 
uh, $8,000, $448, so 358, 448. And the average sold price per square foot is $143 a square foot from $119 a square foot. So you can see that value continuing to increase. The further north we go, the higher the difference in price per square foot. Let's go over to Bentonville and look at Bentonville's data. So this time last year, there were 102 houses sold and the average sold price was 285,323 with an average price per square foot of $133 a square foot. Now, right now there's only 59 houses for sale in Bentonville, but there are 311 houses pending. Again, it's gonna be a great month for March in sold listings. But look at these sold listings between February 1st and March 1st. Only 91 houses have sold. And last year there were 102. So again, it looks like, well, how come there's not as many houses selling? Again, our inventory is lower than they were this time last year. And in fact, they're probably historically lower than they've ever been before. So the average sold price per square foot between February 1st and March 1st of this year is 370,129. And the average price per square foot uh, is $150 per square foot. $150 per square foot. That's up more than $20 or almost $20 a square foot. Not quite, but $133 to $150 per square foot. So that's $17 a square foot higher than this time last year. Let's go over to Bella Vista where we have the biggest increase in our value. So this time last year, we had 67 houses sold and the average sold price was 216,271 at $103 per square foot. Don't we wish we could go back a year and buy up some houses at $103 per square foot? Look at this year. Right now, we've only got 22 houses for sale in Bella Vista. Only 22 houses. That's unbelievably historically low. Uh, pending, 142 houses pending, and there's been 69 houses sold from February 1st through March 1st. And the average sold price uh, of houses, 238,802. And the average sold price per square foot, $130 a square foot, up from $103 a square foot, $27 per square foot higher than this time last year. Unbelievable. So Bella Vista, still the biggest and best bang for dollar, but wow, what an increase from this time last year. Let's go over to specialty properties. In specialty properties uh, in Northwest Arkansas, there's only five lake homes on Beaver Lake, only five and zero in Bella Vista. There's 13 golf front properties, zero in Bella Vista, one in Fayetteville, three in Rogers, and one in Eureka Springs at Holiday Island. So again, our inventory is historically low, and so that makes prices go up. Uh, whenever we have a low supply and high demand, prices go up. There is no way to predict and know when we're going to reach that peak. Interest rates have raised up just a little bit, but they're still incredible for a 30-year fixed mortgage. You can still get a great interest rate. So I hope this data has been informative and informational to you. And so uh, if you have any questions about this report or about the data, you can email me at info at hutchrealty.com. You can message me from this video. And you can also visit our website where you can view all the active listings that are currently for sale at hutchrealty.com. You can view every listing in Northwest Arkansas. Even those areas that I didn't cover are on our website. If you are a seller, you can get a free market report on our website. Cost you absolutely no money whatsoever. It is a report that is automated, automatically generated. So if you want a more detailed report, you should have one of our real estate uh, consultants come out and give you an evaluation of your property. That'll be a much more accurate evaluation, but you can still get a ballpark figure by doing the evaluation on our website. Hope this information has been good for you and I hope that you are 
looking forward to spring and warmer weathers. I know I am. It's been a really cold winter. I'm ready for some new houses to come on the market. I'm ready for some good things in real estate. So again, thank you for watching and I hope you have a blessed day.